Hello all my Hello Maniacs out there. Welcome back to the channel. It's so great to see you again. Now there is something that is out there in the realms of animation that I don't think gets enough love. And that is Pixar Shorts. Because so many of them have shaped the realm of animation by testing out new technology, new techniques. That way they don't have to expend it all in a super expensive animated film. They can test it right then and there. And also some of them are just really, really funny. So today we're gonna to be going through a tier list of every single Pixar animated short. I, I didn't realize how many there were as I was making this. And then um, I realized, oh, there's a crud ton of these. So in order to keep this video in a watchable level, I ended up, if they were part of a collection, I just did the entire collection in part of the tier list just because we'd be here all day otherwise. But before we get started with the tier list, I just wanna give you guys a quick reminder that the sweepstakes for the Disney gift cards are still going on. I'm giving away five Disney gift cards, four of which will be $24 and one of which will be $100. If you wanna enter to win, here's what you gotta do. Go down to the description of this video, download Disney Emoji Blitz from the link below, then play until you get to level 20, take a screenshot of the homepage, which is this one right here. And then you post this image to either Twitter or Instagram, but tag me in it so that I can find it. And then I'm gonna take all of these screenshots that I got and randomly select five to be the winners. And that winner is gonna be announced on August 14th, so you still have plenty of time to enter. And important note, if you are posting it on Instagram, you must tag me in the image. You can't just write it in the comments or send it to me in a story. Those go away, very hard to find, and I cannot guarantee that you'll be entered to win. So you have to actually tag me in the picture. So download now, get to playing, and have fun. All right, so let's jump in here uh, to the tier list. All right, so let's start with the adventures of Andre and Wally B. It's the first short, and it shows. <laughs> and it was a big technical achievement. They did so many things in there that they otherwise thought impossible for an animated feature or anything like that. So I give them credit for what it did for the industry, but I'd be lying if I said I loved this short now. So you would be a D otherwise, but you get, you get saved and put into the sea. Now we get to Luxo Jr., the reason why the Pixar lamp is a thing. Um, and this one, I'm actually going to be a lot nicer than Andre. Because this one, this one still is just really cute and holds to the test of time. Could it go S tier? Yeah. You became the mascot of all of Pixar. You're our first S tier, Luxo. I enjoy your spot. Enjoy your spot up there, Lux. Alright, uh, next is Red's Dream. Where's that one? Oh, there it is. Red's Dream. Red's Dream is definitely... A bit darker, but the clown is terrifying. The message is very, very sad. And usually I, I like sad shorts, but I, I couldn't really get into Red Stream. You're gonna go in D. Next up, Tin Toy. Cute short. Terrifying baby. Tin Toy, I think, is, aside from Luxo Jr., one of the best ones we have in this first group. But no, that that terrifying baby lowers you some points, Tin Toy. I'm sorry. Nick Knack. Nick Knack, I just love Nick Knack. It's just pure D cartooniness, and I love it. Uh, do I want to put you in S or A? S or A, S or A, S or A. Uh, a. I'm going to put A. All right. Uh, next up is Jerry's Game. I feel like I'm missing something with it. Normally, a lot of Pixar shorts try to say some, like, big message in it. And I don't know what the message of this one is. You're just kind of watching an old man slip into madness or just be that lonely, which either way is kind of sad, but they make it funny. So I enjoyed it, don't get me wrong, but it's kind of like, I don't know if I'm supposed to feel bad about this one or not. And I like you better than Tin Toy, but not as much as Knick Knack. So you're going to go right there and be uh, for the birds. For the longest time, this one was actually my favorite. I loved for the birds. I remember vividly seeing it for the first time. To Brian Humor, little things getting flung into the air at super fast speeds is just one of the funniest things that you can do in a movie. And if you, the whole short revolves around that as the main gag, you're gonna win big points with me. Oh, now we get the first one of the shorts that accompany the movie, Mike's New Car. Now, in general, I tend to not like the direct to like the, the the shorts based off the movie as much as the original shorts uh and mike's new car is probably no exception it's cute it's fun i'm glad that it made it on to the dvd i like it more than andre in red stream actually no you're better than 10 toy you don't have scary baby so okay you, you can go above 10 toy bound in was the next short out i'm not really a huge fan of it i like the message 
that it gives, but there's something in the way the design is, or something in the way that just everything looks and feels, and it just feels very pandering. It just didn't feel very Pixar-y. It felt... It felt like TV, Disney TV animation when they weren't good. I don't know. They're both kind of in that level of, uh. uh no, I like Bound In better than Andre. I like Bound In better than Andre. All right, uh, Jack-Jack Attack. All right, Jack-Jack Attack. You're awesome. I will give the Incredible Shorts this. I'll give the Incredible Shorts this. They actually make shorts about stuff I genuinely wondered in the movie, like what happened to the baby while... You know, Kari was babysitting. And then later, what happened with the baby while Edna Mode was watching him? So, they they answered these questions. And I think they answered them well. You will go up here, Jack Jack Attack. Okay, here's a short I'm sure most people have no idea exists. This is Mr. Incredible and Pals. So, the whole premise is that this was a cartoon that would have aired in the 60s or 70s. And it's horrendously awful. And I love it. You should watch this short first. But then, they put a commentary with Mr. Incredible and Frozone watching this for the first time. And they rip it to shreds. And it's glorious. It was beautiful. It was beautiful. You're gonna go up here. <laughs> And you gotta listen to that commentary. The commentary's better than the short. I had my moment. That was hysterical. Okay, one man band. One man band. I do enjoy one man band. I don't like it as much as Jack Jack Attack, but I do like it more than Jerry's Game. Yeah, that feels good to put it there. I love the musicality of it, being uh, someone who went to school for music myself. I, 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 I absolutely love what they did with the music here. I just, I keep seeing this and I keep thinking of that commentary! <laughs> All right, Mater in the Ghost Light. There were a crud ton of car shorts, and most of them are just going to get piled into one just because I don't got time for all the car shorts. But Mater in the Ghost Light, it was the first one. It was kind of on its own, doing its own thing. I'll give it that. It was fine. You know, it was Mater being Mater. Lifted! Lifted was fun. I like Lifted. I like Lifted more than One Man Band. Do I like it more than Jack Jack Attack? Nope! Okay, Lifted's going to go right there. Uh, your friend the rat. Not the biggest fan of your friend is the rat. I mean, I, I, it had some really cool informational bits in there, but it's also just kind of like, this is what you did for a Ratatouille short. You could have done so much more. It's going to go high C. It's going to go in the high C. There was some cool stuff that they did, and I like that they brought back hand drawn, but it was really long, and you could have made your statement. It, it's like, it's like it was eight minutes of build up to one gag that wasn't worth the 10 minute build up to the gag. Presto! Pure, unadulterated, cartooniness galore, and I love you for that. You're going into S tier. Now the question is, do I love you as much as I love the commentary of Mr. Incredible and Pals? I feel like I can't give it to it when it's the commentary that's the best part and not the short itself. Presto, you're gonna go above Mr. Incredible and Pals. The charm, the wit, pure D, unadulterated, cartoony humor, I adore, especially in shorts. I miss that. I, I either want them to be laugh out loud funny with some of the best cartoon jokes that you can do or make me really think and feel. Bernie! Bernie was cute. It was a short to a question that nobody really asked, like what happened to that little bot outside when Wally and Eve were dancing. It's cute and all. It has its moments. Um, actually, where I have it right now not, might not be a bad idea. No, that fits! <laughs> that fits right there. So I'm putting all of the Cars tunes, Mater's Tall Tales, Tales from Radiator Springs. There's like 15 of these shorts, y'all. I'm not gonna rate every one of them individually, especially because I feel about all of them the exact same. They'd all end up in the same spot. Um, and yeah, it's gonna go down here. I'm 100% indifferent to. I don't think they're funny. I don't think they're bad. I just think they're there. Partly Cloudy. Oh, I love Partly Cloudy. You are definitely gonna go up into S tier. You're gonna go here. All right, uh, Doug's special mission. Doug's special mission is cute. Kind of like Bernie answers a question that I didn't really have a question to, like what was Doug doing before Carl found him? I was like, okay. And it did create a little bit more comedy with him and Alpha and Gamma and Beta, which I do like. Um, I liked it. I liked it more 
than Mike's new car, but not more than Jerry's game. George and AJ. I love the idea of George and AJ. The idea that these two guys who were supposed to be taking Carl, like all these other old people, got the idea like Carl. Hey, let's move our houses in weird and crazy ways. I love the idea of it, but I feel like the execution just didn't really work. I, I, I get what they were doing with the art style, kind of making like a live storyboard, and I, I guess that's okay. I don't know. It just felt kind of cheap and lazy. The idea was good, but the execution just felt not so great. You're going to go in C tier, but you're going to go above your friend the rat. You had a good idea, just bad execution. <laughs> Day and night. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful, 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 beautiful short. I love this one. I love the hand-drawn animation. I love the CG environments. So good. And I love the message that it has behind it. Um, you're gonna go in S tier, and you're gonna go above For the Birds and above Luxo Jr. I'm have, I have more in S tier than I thought I would. <laughs> I love Pixar shorts, what can I say? Uh, La Luna. La Luna was a good one. And now that I look back on it, there's a lot of similarities visually to Luca now. <laughs> At least like with the design of his dad. Oh my gosh, the design of his dad looks almost just like um, Julia's dad. It's like, it's insane. I would put it above Jerry's game just because I like the message better. Silencio Bruno now, go climb to the moon and get the stars. <laughs> okay, I threw all the Toy Story shorts together. I wasn't going to do this because I do think, I, I have different opinions on each short individually. We'd be here all day if I did each individual. And uh, in this, I'm also including the Christmas special and the Halloween special because they're technically shorts. There's some shorts that I utterly adore. I love Party Source Rex, Hawaiian Vacation. I was like, yeah, it was fine. I, I really enjoy the Christmas special as a whole, but it's, it loses points because it, it, I have to keep reminding myself it's a Christmas special. It has nothing to do with Christmas other than, here, here's toys that they got at Christmas. And then after that, there's like this little cat angel thing that keeps trying to shoehorn Christmas in there. And I'm like, yeah, no, it's not working, kid. It gets lots of bonus points for Party Source Rex, but loses some for some of the specials. The Halloween one was fine. I don't really have a problem with it, but also didn't love it. Um, oh, if it weren't for Party Source Rex, I would not be doing this. Party Source Rex put it over Cherry's game. If it wasn't there, it would probably be under Doug's special mission. More do. This felt like a deleted scene. This felt like what they meant to put in the movie, and then they just didn't. They made like a shortened version of it. You know, you're gonna go down here in the D tier. It's like, it was a cool tale and all, but I'm like, did it really say that much different than the movie? Uh, Party Central. Party Central was fun. I enjoyed it. It did actually make me laugh pretty hard. No, I liked it more than Bernie. I thought it was funnier than Bernie, but I can't put it above Tin Toy. Yeah, the blue umbrella. I'm gonna be honest, I forget the blue umbrella all the dang time. I forget it's a short, I forget Pixar made it. I, re I remember the visuals of it, the visuals are gorgeous. I mean, but other than that, it's like your typical romance story and I don't really get into the romance stories as much. I'm sorry, it's just not my thing. I, I like you on principle more than the Cars tunes. So you're in the I forgot it exists category. Lava. I have a dream. I hope will come true. Probably the best song out of any of them. So you're at least A tier, if not higher. Really simplistic, but that song is just so daggum catchy and I love it. I think, yeah, right here, I would put it above Jack Jack Attack and I'd put it next to Nick Knack, but I couldn't put it above Luxo Jr. I love you being right here. Oh, I done didn't made it funny. All right, uh, Riley's first date. And I liked it more than most of the... Uh, shorts based off of the movies. It, it, it was one of those, it, it was all designed just for a couple gags. And whereas this one, it was building up to one major gag that happened like at the end of the short. And I'm like, unlike your friend the rat, it earned it. I wasn't bored halfway through trying to get there. So yeah, you will definitely be in the higher group. Yeah, yeah, I'll put you there in between Duck Special Mission and Jerry's Game. Sanjay Super Team. Now, I'm, I'm going to be real here. Um, I I was convinced I wasn't going to like this one when I first saw it. Just because, you know, it involves a religion that I know absolutely nothing about. But the struggle between a son and a dad to like connect even though their interests are so different. That really resonated with me a lot. So I ended up liking it a lot more than I thought. Uh, but even then, it's still not my favorite or anything. I'll put it in high B. Piper. Piper is just gorgeous. And it's so cute. I love it. And I just love the message that it has. It's like doing things a little differently and facing your fears. And I I'd probably put Piper above Knick Knack. No. Knick Knack is so 
the funniness of Knickknack outweighs the cuteness of Piper to me. Oh, marine life interviews with Finding Dory. I honestly forgot this was a thing until I was making this list and I went back and watched it. It's like, oh yeah. And it was cute and it kind of did what once again, they're building up the entire short to be one big joke at the end. Whereas, the, whereas your friend the rat was too long. This one was almost too short that I'm like, oh, that was it? <laughs> so uh, they have a similar problem, but honestly, I'd rather have it be too short and work enough than be too long and not really land. All right, now we're at Lou. Lou was, Lou was good. But in hindsight, it's definitely not my favorite, but it is really good. I do like it more than La Luna. And probably more than one man band, but probably not more than lifted. I just started to realize something. Between my Pixar list and here, in the late 2000s Pixar seems to be my favorite stuff. Because that's where Presto happened and partly Cloudy. Day and Night was like in 2010. So it's like near the end of 20 2000s into 2010s. That was just my wheelhouse of Pixar. That was just my favorite time. And I guess it will always be that. Uh, Miss Fritter's Racing School. The framing device was stupid for this. I'm gonna be really honest, it was so stupid. Actually having Lightning and Cruz watch it, that almost pulled some of the comedy out of it for me. I'm like, really, why are you doing this? It's so forgettable and I don't really care about it. And I was like, yeah, okay, whatever. Actually, no, actually, no, actually, no. Wow, I really don't like Miss Fritter, do I? <laughs> but dang. I almost want to put it in F. Why do I want to put it in F? It's not that bad, is it? But I, I didn't really laugh at it. Why do I want to put it in F so bad? Because that framing device was so bad. Okay, framing device was bad enough. You're going in F. I, I don't really just, I, I feel like I don't dislike it enough to put it there, but at the same time, I don't like it as much as Red Stream. Oh, wow. I must really hate Miss Fritter. I'm sorry for any Miss Fritter fans, but yeah, I did not, I, yeah. It's my least favorite short. All right, we've only got a few left to go. Bow. Bow, I'm gonna be honest. When I first watched it, it, it had that shock value. You guys know exactly what I'm talking about. And I think that affected my overall enjoyment of it to where we get to the main ending and stuff. And yeah, I get it. And yeah, it makes sense. But I'm also just like, I'm still a little traumatized by what I watched. So it loses a lot of points for that. It's cute overall. And I like the message. And I, I, I definitely wouldn't put it too low on the list. Um, But I'd probably put it in B tier right above, right above Sanjay Super Team. Auntie Edna. Auntie Edna. Yep, 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 yep. All right. And I'm also going to throw in the Pixar shorts that happened with Disney Plus, starting with Forky Asks a Question. I watched every one of these, and like they have some good gags in here, but at the same time, I'm sitting here going, wow, they could have done a lot more with this. So you're going to go in C tier. I'd, I'd say here, there there was that one about love that is truly hysterical. If you don't watch any of them, at least go watch the one about love. That one is actually really good. Lamp Life was cute, but once again, it's explaining a part in the movie that in a movie that I'm not really the biggest fan of, so it loses a lot of points for that. I like it more than Bounden, and yeah, it's better than Mater and the Ghost Life and your friend they're at. Actually, yeah, I like it a little bit better than Forky Asked a Question. <laughs> and then, yeah, I did feel bad for this one. I wanted to put Spark Shorts in its own. I, I give each one the time of day to talk about it, but there's already so many shorts, and I don't got time to go through each one. If you haven't watched Spark Shorts, you need to go watch them all. But there's some that are really stand out. Uh, Loop really I thought was a beautiful one. Kit Bull, but Kit Bull, Kit Bull's real sad. Pearl was also a standout one I needed to say. I put Spark Shorts here. Uh, Pixar Popcorn, Pixar Popcorn was cute. It's, they're all really short and it's just supposed to be like little visual gags and stuff. Nothing really stuck out. Um, nothing really left an impact on me. It was just kind of like, oh, this is basically if you're at a party and stuff and you just want something funny playing in the background that people can look at and just kind of have a gag at, this is perfect for that. Yeah, you'll go right there. And last but not least, 22 versus Earth. One, and I was about to say, once again, answering a question that I didn't have, but no, I actually did have this question. Like, what, 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 what was 22 doing, you know, before Joe and everything? And I think that's actually a cool premise. They could have shown more of it. It feels like just one little pocket of her time before she met Joe, even though she's been there since almost the dawn of time. And I'm like, that would have been cool to see like how she dealt with different eras and like different teachers and kind of like what they were alluding to in the movie. But then they're just like, oh, we're going to focus on this one time. She tried to make a group and like stop people from going to Earth. And I'm like, oh, okay, that's cute and all, but... I don't know. I kind of wish y'all did more with this. You're going to go into the C category also, but you were one of the better ones. And I like you better than... Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to put you in C. 
Okay, so that is my tier list for Pixar shorts. So let me know in the comments, what was your favorite short? What was your least favorite short? Was I too hard on Misfit or Striving School? And, uh... Let me know. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and please share this video with your friends if you could. The more engagement you do, the better the video gets shoved up in the algorithm, which would be very helpful. So thank you, and I will see you guys later. Bye!